I'm falling out of love with buy-to-let property investment. It's an idea I've been flirting with over the last few years and it's really come to the forefront of my mind. And I wanted to make a video of why I'm feeling like that later on in the video. I'm going to tell you what I think is better to do than buy-to-let property investment, especially here in the UK. But I'm going to give you my, my salient points of why it's just not working for me. Number one is this bloody government. They're not supporting the idea of it anymore. You know, when I started out in my business, I was 18, 19, I was buying property because I loved the security. I love that you got paid twice. You would get capital growth and you would get income and rent. The government weren't bashing it all the time. The media weren't bashing it all the time. And now they are. And we're seeing a plethora of new taxes. It's not tax efficient anymore. If you own property in your own personal name, you don't get the interest tax relief that you did uh, from a few years ago. And you now pay a penal rate of stamp duty, an extra 3% over someone that's buying a property to live in. Now, whether that's right or wrong, whether you agree with that, that's um, not what this video is about. I'm just telling you that's not the same as it was, you know, five years ago or when I started. And all these things chip away at your return on investment. And that's why my mind has been flirted to other ideas. It's also bad for inheritance tax. You know, as I've been trading my business more and more, I've been thinking about this stuff. You know, I'm 37 right now and I've got kids. I think when you have kids, you start thinking about, well, I've been working really hard and what if something happens to me? You know, what's tax efficient for them? Well, if you've got residential property, it's not tax efficient should you die to pass that on. But if you have trading businesses with commercial property tied around them, that is way more tax efficient if it's a, tra um, a transfer of a going concern to your dependents, you know, like a farm or a factory and you make stuff and you own the free hold of the factory. You can pass your kids um, that property through the trading business way more tax efficient than you can if you have residential property. So that's another reason I'm starting to fall out of love with it. I'm looking at it now when I try and make the deals stack up in terms of return on investment. You put a deposit in, uh, let's just come up with a scenario here, you put in anywhere between 20 and 50,000 pounds to acquire your so-called buy-to-let property and that 50,000, 20,000, 10,000 pounds goes towards the stamp duty, the legal fees, the deposit to go towards the mortgage and then you're going to get a return of positive cash flow that's after paying you know repairs and your interest on your mortgage and your tax of maybe 100 to 500 pounds per property so you're putting tens of thousands of pounds into something hard capital to get a few hundred pounds return a month and might, people might think well it's pretty safe James I'm pretty happy with that but actually if you're good at business and entrepreneurship and I'm taking by watching this channel that is an idea that you flirt with do you really want to put tens of thousands of pounds into something to get 100 to 500 pounds a month of positive cash flow should you be employing another person that might bring in hundreds of thousands of revenue into your business and tens of thousands of profit each year into your business? And you might then say, well, there is a risk to that uh, because that employee might not work out, but you need to get better at employing people, better at business so you're making smarter decisions. Or could you put that money to go and buy and acquire another business? Or could you put that money into commercial property? Equity. Um, this is the thing that I'm really starting to realize with my business, my property business. You know, if I've got a property and I'm selling one right now, after I've paid the mortgage, I'm going to come out with about £250,000. I used to live in it. Um, it was one of my early property purchases and I just kept it and rented it out. Um, so it's quite tax efficient, the money that I'm going to get from that property. Now, I had two choices here. Do I take that money, put it into another buy to let property or do I do something else with it? Could the equity be far better used to allow me to get more profitable cash flow? I would say yes. I could go and buy a quarter of a million pound commercial property warehouse and help myself to about £35,000 worth of rent per year, which is way more tax efficient, much better yield than I could ever get on residential property with hardly any work because I would put a tenant on there on a fully repairing, insuring lease. So if the boiler breaks down or something goes horrifically wrong, that's not my problem, that's the tenant's problem. So there's massive more advantages of commercial property. But I could also put that quarter of a million into buying another business that would be better for me making more profit. I could go and buy another day nursery with that quarter of a million pounds. And let me put this to you. I could find a day nursery for sale for a million pounds with a freehold property, put £250,000 into it, help myself to about £150,000 uh, profit per year, 
eventually it will own the freehold because the mortgage will be paid off on that day nursery. And then if I wanted to sell that day nursery in the future as a profitable going concern, I'd pay a much lower capital gains on it. Um, if you've not sold anything and you've made uh, sold a business for a million pounds, you'd only pay 10% tax on it. And then after that, you would pay 20%. Again, way more tax efficient than residential buy-to-let property. So that's just my thoughts on it. I'm just not into it as much as I used to be, gang. It's not saying that I won't ever do it, but it's got to be a draw-droppingly good deal. In fact, I did find a draw-droppingly good deal years ago. I, uh, sorry, a year ago, I bought a block of flats. I bought six flocks in a flat, six flats in a block, um, and I only paid £500 stamp duty to buy that. How did I do it? Well, it's all revealed in another YouTube video that I made a year ago. You can watch it by clicking here. Um, if you've loved this video, please go and tell everyone about it. Um, like, subscribe and do all that stuff and I'll see you in the next video.